Luke, so you're one of the newest Yankees, which means you have a lot of fresh pinstripe posts on your Instagram page. Are you ready to check out the feed? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. First one, Players Weekend. You're rocking the Lewis on the back of the jersey, which you revealed is your real first name. Yeah. <laughs> So, I, you know, last year I just did Voight because everyone really calls me Voight. And I want to do something different, you know, kind of honor my dad and my granddad because they're senior and junior. And, you know, I thought it'd be cool to, you know, I feel like a lot of people didn't know my real name's Lewis and my nickname's Luke, which everyone calls me too. So, you know, I thought it was something cool and, you know, something cool for the fans to see, so. And now your full name sounds very royal. You got <laughs> right. Lewis Linwood Voight the third. It's funny because I saw a lot of posts like King Louis just because of that, that name, so. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a cool name, no one's got it. It makes me almost want to keep it going for when I have kids someday, if I get a boy, but yeah. I feel like I might get all girls, but uh, who knows. <laughs> um, and you said people call you King Louis. There's so many different things you can do with that name. Yeah, no. Louis V, whatever it is. Maybe I can get Louis Vuitton to get me a you know a discount or something <laughs> deal. <laughs> all right, so another Yankees post, you got your first hit, you saved the baseball. This is a special one, huh? Yeah, it was super cool, uh, especially, you know, I mean, I never would have thought, you know, I'd been playing for the New York Yankees, and you know, it's something I always have and cherish, you know, for the rest of my life, you know, just because my first, you know, American League hit, and, you know, happens to be at the, you know, biggest organization, of, you know, all sports, so it's it's pretty, you know, pretty cherishable. Congratulations, and hopefully the first of many. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> very true. All right, so if your gameplay didn't make Yankee fans love you enough, you're also a pretty big dog lover, huh? Yeah, I got a dog, I got a, her name's Lola. <laughs> she's my little princess, except she's given my fiance uh, some tough times, but you know, it's just her being a dog. And she's a lab half terrier mix. She's about 40 pounds and she's like perfect size. And she's awesome and she keeps my fiance in check and, um, you know, gives her some love and support when I'm not there. So she's perfect for it. Now you mentioned your fiance. You guys just recently got engaged. Yep. How did it go down? It's at, a, it's at a winery and it kind of overlooks you know, uh, the valley or whatever at uh, Montel Winery. It's out in, it's in, in the St. Louis area. Yeah, that was my buddy that took that picture. They were there and kind of knew it was coming and I didn't expect the picture. I wanted it to be kind of private anyway and she loved it. She said yes, so that's the most important part, right? Louis V, you're pretty smooth, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smooth Lou. Yeah, that's another there you go. good possible nickname. All right, you two like to have a lot of fun. Go to a lot of hockey games. Big hockey guy or what? Yeah, I love the St. Louis Blues. I grew up Blues fan and uh, Pretty cool. We had a Blues jersey like theme night for like you know BP, and I got to get Tarasenko's you know autograph, who's one of the best players in the NHL, and try to go as many Blues games as I can, and um, you know hopefully they can win a Stanley Cup because you know they don't have one yet. So I'm hoping for hope for that to turn around here soon. So and now that you're at the Yankees and here in New York, got to experience the game at Madison Square yeah. Garden, check out the Rangers maybe. Yeah, I've never been to one. Uh, I want to check out Madison Square Garden. You know it's kind of a bucket list thing, and you know hopefully we'll you know I'll be here all fall and I'll be able to get a chance to go check one out. Now you got some pretty cool baseball cards. Check this one out, this one's pretty sweet. Yeah, so when I was in double A, I won the uh, Home Run Derby and the champion uh, got a buck knife. And we had like a little like Shaba thing we did at second base and I did it when I won it with the buck knife and it kind of went viral for a little bit. So another thing, you know, it's, you know, I'll share this restaurant too, it's pretty cool. I don't know if I can use it. I feel like it's too nice to use. <laughs> we see some photos of you in the sleeveless tees showing yeah. off the guns. You look kind of like a creative player, a dude that's meant to hit home runs. <laughs> you like to hit the gym. Yep. This is all pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm a big gym rat. You know, in the off season, I'm in there five, six times a week. Got a crazy work ethic, and that comes from my trainer back home, Brian Fitzmorris, who's, you know, helped me, you know, with my nutrition, working out, you know, sleep habits, eating habits, whatever. The guy's been awesome for me, and he makes me uh, want to come back every day, and, you know, he's. Huge in the mental side too, which I appreciate, and I've you know made me more of a mature person, you know, with baseball and you know my personal life too, and um, you know I credit some of my success to him. So uh, yeah, it's you know I love working out and stuff, and you know being in shape. So and it helps with the power hitting. Yeah, dude, you're looking like you're about to hit a ball 600 feet <laughs> in this. <laughs> so funny story, I actually lost to uh, freaking Miggy. Andahar and uh, the Home Run Derby in 2015. I got second place, and this is a picture from it. Depressing, we went down to like the finals and the championship and the swing off, and he ended up hitting bombs like he is right now, and I'd freaking hit like a ground ball or something. But um, it's pretty cool and weird, you know, three three years later that we're playing together and hitting back to back in the lineup, so it's pretty, pretty sweet. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that kind of wild to see how your career has played out? now that you guys are in the same lineup? Yes, you know, you never, I mean, back then, you know, you're just hoping to get to the big leagues, and now I'm playing next to him, and man, he's about to, he could possibly win Rookie of the Year. I mean, he's a talent, he was a talent then, and uh, it's impressive, you know, watching Dan Dow. And now the final photo, 
You're not the only big dude in the Voigt family. Your brother, he's yeah. got some football in his blood. Yeah, so my brother uh, went to West Point right down the road, and he was uh, captain there last year. You know, won the uh, Army Navy game twice. Was a beast, all conference. You know, uh, kind of balled out, and you know, super proud of him. He's a big dude. He was when he was playing, he was like six four, like two sixty five. He's bigger than I was, and um, you know. He graduated and uh, it's pretty impressive and you know I, I want to thank all the people that have gone out and served our country because you know my brother's going to be going down that path here soon and so much love and go Army beat Navy baby. Cool. So we see all these posts, what would you say is your favorite part about Instagram? You know I getting to express myself, um, you know and, and like honestly getting to see other people and I got to see meet Big Al yesterday and um, a lot of the coolest things I get to do with the Yankees but then in the off season like stuff I like to do like you know, I like to work out, you know, I like to go hunting. I'm a big blues fan, you know. Um, you know, you can express, you know, what you like to do and have fun with it. Because, I mean, there's a lot of guys that make funny videos and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I always find myself when I wake up and in the morning just always scrolling through it and stuff and looking for, you know, funny stuff. And uh, I always put a smile on my face, so. What can fans expect from you and why should they follow you then? <laughs> I'm not the biggest post of, you know, I don't post all the time, but, um, you know, it's, you know, now I'm a Yankee, I want to kind of get myself out there, you know, I was in St. Louis and, you know, I was kind of more well known just from being there and stuff, and it's one of the biggest cities in the world and I want to, you know, get out and enjoy this place as much as possible, so I'm going to show you guys that and um, let's have fun with it. No, I'm just a Missouri boy that's, you know, you know, doing big city things now, so, you know, it should be interesting. All right, well, good luck. Shoot this guy a follow. Louis Vuitton, if you're watching, he wants a deal. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm going to get my fiance more stuff, so she's not begging me all the time. <laughs>